up team so today we're going to talk about preparing for marriage preparing for marriage i know a lot of you guys you're like um oh, i'm just i can't wait i'm tired of being lonely is there someone out there for me i want to prophesy today and tell you that there is someone out there for you okay so we're going to talk about preparing for marriage all right before you say i do so many of you guys are in a courtship you have someone that you know that can potentially be your future husband or future wife so we're going to talk about uh preparing for marriage so uh what you do right now it matters and and it's going to count all right so this time is critical for a lot of you guys that are in a courtship that is literally preparing and even if you're not in a courtship you know you can still prepare for marriage amen because way before I was in a courtship with Tron, you know, I was still preparing because uh, I allowed the Lord to heal my heart of just uh, a broken relationship. And, you know, and I just decided to take another shot at love and I put my walls down and I said, okay, God, I'm going to prepare for marriage. So if you're in a courtship with somebody, when you prepare for marriage, I need you guys to do things together spiritually. I need you guys to fast together, all right? Because if you're not fasting together now in courtship, it'd it be uh, less likely, less likely that you're not gonna fast together when you guys get married, all right? So take the time and say, okay, babe, you know, we, we do things, you know, uh, carnal things, like we watch things that please our flesh, you know, uh, we go out to eat all the time and we may laugh and joke, but let's do some spiritual things together let's go fast let's let's go on the fast you know i don't care if it's three days seven days 21 days whatever the lord puts on your heart fast with your hus uh, future husband future wife pray together if you don't pray together now um the odds are when you get married you might not pray together so start now while you're preparing for marriage to pray with one another you know pray together say okay you know, babe, I don't want nothing, but I'm going to just start praying over you. Call, call that man and pray over him. Call that woman and start praying over her. Pray pray for her before she go. Uh, start her day. Same thing. Pray for that man. You know, you don't know what he's going through. You probably uh, feel some kind of tension or something just trying to get ready to provide for his future family, right? So pray for one another. Encourage one another. This is all in preparation for marriage. All right? So do spiritual things together. Read devotionals together. Me and Babe, we read plenty of devotionals together, um, and we still do after marriage. We uh, started plans together when we were recording, and they got so many plans. They got this app called U Version. U Version, um, it's a Bible app, and you can find plans. You can find plans about marriage. You can find plans about courting. You can find all kind of plans. You know, go on there and and, and do that with your person that you're in courtship. And if you are single. Have nobody to court right now if you're not in a courtship you can still do it because you know what you learn for those things and as you apply the, the tools and the, the things that you may read in these plans or devotions you know it can change your life all right so this is all preparation for marriage because you know you don't want to uh stop praying together after you say i do you don't want to do that all right so do spiritual things together amen the next thing you know when you prepare for marriage when you prepare for marriage i need you to allow god to work on you allow god to work on you women on here you know we get in trouble with our with our mouths you know sometimes i'll be wanting to go back to the old cam where i'll be nagging nah, 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 nah. but i can't be that nagging woman all right because the word of god tells us that a man rather be on the rooftop the corner of a rooftop than be in a house with some nagging woman or a quarrelsome woman all right the, the word of god tells us that a foolish woman tears down her own house all right so we, we don't want to be like that so allow god to work on you while you're preparing allow god to say just just put it out in the open with god just be real say god i'm a nagging woman god i have an anger issue god i, I, I i'm jealous lord god i all day around you if you're just nagging his head off you know 
you say, babe, I need you to take the trash. I say it one time. Don't, don't beat him down with it, okay? You're going to just turn that man off. You know, no no person want to be around you if you're just jealous. You got to trust your person that you're in a covenant with. You know? So allow God right now, before you say I do, to get that junk out of you. Because you don't want to take that into your marriage. You don't want to take that into your marriage. All right? So allow God, if you know, if you if you have a lust issue, a, a lust problem, allow God to deliver you before you say I do. All right? Because you don't want to take that lust into your marriage. You don't want to take those addictions like porn and all that crazy stuff into your marriage. You don't want to do that. Allow God to do work inside of you. So when, when you prepare for marriage, I need you guys to study. Study about it. Find out everything that you can find out about marriage or somebody that's in marriage, somebody that been there, did that. Study. There's so many books, so many tools about marriage. Amen. And it's part of like counseling. You know, so studying and counseling, you can put that in the same category. Either you get some kind of counseling or you can pick up a, some, a book or invest in you. You know to get some kind of study material so you can know how to be the best husband that you can love your wife as Christ loves the church so you can learn how to be the best wife that you can submit and uh, respect your own husband so study amen study is it's it, I'm telling you that the tools and the insight that you will gain is valuable and it, it's going to impact a lifetime all right one thing I learned from studying about marriages get rid of the eyes and the me's and the my's and replace those things with we and us and ours you know because sometimes people go into marriage with a single mentality and it's doom and gloom from the start so just study about it uh realize that marriage is two people becoming one it's not two people going two different directions doing what they want to do no it's two people going into the same direction right in life building together working together teamwork makes the dream work this is what marriage is about amen it is a covenant before god it is a holy relationship before god god loves marriage god honors marriage amen so study about it if you say you want to be married but you have not took the time out to study you have not took the time out to learn about marriage then I don't think you're ready I don't think you're ready at all the next thing we do to prepare for marriage is women domestic you got to be some kind of domestic now I know this day and age uh, day and age with the, 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 the millennials this day and age with the millennials and the people uh, in this century they they got the roles all jacked up and all back backwards and all flipped around listen you look at some of those church mothers those old women they've been married for years the reason why one of the secrets why they've been married for so long they're very domestic they know how to keep their house up they know how to put a hot meal on the table if you don't know how to cook now you better go ahead and um, learn how to cook before you get married because I guarantee you your man is going to be looking at you for a hot meal there's so many apps I have an app on my phone me and babe right now I think it's called all recipes all recipes simple they give you step by steps they even give you videos of how to make the recipes they got so many categories you know even even people for beginners you know you can do it and then they have pictures of it it's just it's just easy you know watch the cooking channel learn how to cook you know uh go to someone that know how to cook and ask them can you teach me how to make this recipe learn how to cook I need you guys to be domestic women on here before you uh, say I do because that man like I said he's gonna be looking for a hot meal we all heard a saying you know the way to a man's heart is through his belly well I don't know about you guys but my husband loves food I don't know about you, your, your husband or the person in your courtship but he loves to eat so yeah and since he met me 
he stopped going out to restaurants and fast food places because when we were recording, he used to always do that. But then he used to always come to me because he found out I can cook. So he's always coming to me like, I, I, can you make me this? Can you make me that? So I said, just cook him some different kind of foods that he liked. And, you know, I cook for him all the time. So we go out to eat sometimes. But the majority of the time, you know, it's up to me to put a hot meal on the table. So learn how to cook women. All right. Learn how to clean your home up. Like I said, you got to be domestic. You know, learn how to clean your home up. What do you mean? Well, learn how to make the bed. I'm not the best uh, bed maker. I know Bay called me out, I was so embarrassed. Uh, but I'm trying, at least make an effort to make the bed up, right? Vacuum, learn how to vacuum, learn how to wash those dishes, right? Sweep the floor, mop. You know, I, I, I do the mopping in the house. Nobody else mops except me. And I try to mop at least once a week. You know, if I can't do it every Sunday, then I do it every two weeks. But, you know, be domestic. One of the things I started doing, you guys, was ironing my man's clothes. Yeah, I never considered myself to be an ironer. I only iron, like, my church dresses. Uh, and I put some starch on them, those big uh, preaching dresses I wear when I do my conferences and stuff. Yeah, but that's the only time I really iron. Um, but he likes his jeans and stuff ironed. So, yeah, I iron clothes and... You know, make make sure the house is tidy. Make sure the house is smelling good. I'm so big on air fresheners and candles, uh, the aromatics. I always have the house smelling good. You know, I consider that's my job to get the inside of the house clean. I consider babe job to take care of the outside of the house. All right. All right. So being domestic, you know, learn how to wash clothes and do laundry. All right. Even men, men, you know, I expect you guys to know how to cook somewhat more than noodles all right more than rice all right more than some scrambled eggs come on now no men learn how to cook too so when you get married you can uh give your right wife a break sometimes and say baby i want to cook you breakfast in bed and you know keep it spicy right all right so be domestic men learn how to do laundry too all right you learn how to do things around the house men and help your wife out because there's nothing worse than uh, your wife feeling stressed out sometimes and overwhelmed and you go back behind her and mess up like a big kid You're not a big kid. No, you're a man. So help your wife out sometimes, you know, consider her feelings in in, in um, The relationship so both of you guys need to work on being domestic and taking your part in taking care of your home All right, this is I'm talking about preparing for marriage preparing for marriage All right, when you prepare for marriage, I need you guys to groom yourself groom yourself amen so what do you mean all right sometimes when you're single uh now I, I was here you guys i was so depressed uh just going through a bad breakup and just in the wilderness season you know i just let myself go for a season i stopped shaving you know i stopped caring how i looked my hair was every kind of way i went out the house is looking some kind of way no you're not going to attract the per a man like that you know so groom yourself you know shave you should not have a bush you should not have, be looking like a grizzly bear women over here right shave yourself you know you shouldn't be lifting up your armpits and see a bush right here no that's just that's, that's, no 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 okay you shouldn't put on a dress and all you see is like grizzly bear legs no no that's not cute no shave yourself groom yourself you know, I don't care if you put your hair in a ponytail. Make sure your hair in a ponytail look at, like a cute ponytail. There's some ponytails out there that's cute, you know? All right? I don't care if you put your hair in a bun. Make sure it's a cute bun. You know, groom yourself. Put on some jewelry. Put on, like, some earrings. Put on some lip gloss. A little lip gloss and a little eyeshadow go a long way. Groom yourself. Make sure your breath is fresh. Get in the habit right now of having some fresh breath all right because when you get that person in your life they're going to be in your space and you want to turn them on not turn them off amen because stinking breath is offensive like, oof, i don't want to smell your breath amen all right work on your breath all right okay so groom yourself invest in yourself invest in yourself i can't say it again invest in you 
all right this is the time when you uh learn how to when, when you're grooming yourself this is the time to guess what all right so this is the time you guys when, when you when you groom yourself you know shave guys men shave i don't want to see all that stubble you looking like a bum um invest in you get you get you some nice clothes okay some clothes that um when when your man of god comes along when your woman of god comes along some dating clothes you know like maybe a nice dress you know that you not my time about hoochie dress i don't i don't promote that um a nice dress that like you know you could wear to church but it's not for church if you know what i mean you know something for his eyes only um you know a nice dress I ain't talking about like a nun looking kind of dress, a Catholic, uh, those gowns and robes, no. Um, I'm talking about like, you know, a little dress that come past your knees and it show off your little shape a little bit and it's not revealing your, your girls ain't hanging out, but it, 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 um, looks nice. Amen. You know, a nice dress guys, get you some nice clothes so that woman can look at like, Ooh, look at my man, you know, some nice clothes so she can check you out in that groom yourself all right um when you prepare for marriage i need you guys to start investing in yourself you know women um this is the time um to invest in you uh let me say it again you know get some pieces like a little you know a little lingerie here and there some things um so you can stash it away you know so when you get married you can pull it out at the right time all right some people say well if you're single you shouldn't be wor get uh worrying about that but it's nothing wrong with stashing some clothes away uh, and buying things, you know, until you have the fine, uh, uh, until the right time, until God blesses you guys to become one and you say, I do. Then you can pull out those things that you stashed away, all right, those pieces, right? All right. So, and, and men too, um, work on your finances. This is a big one. Work on your finances when you prepare for marriage because it's really stressful, um, being in a relationship and financial tension or arises and you don't even like the person anymore. You just, ah, you know, work on finances. All right. I know sometimes things in life happen, um, but work on your finances, work on your credit um, and try to prepare you guys a, a nice place to live at a decent place. You know, I know sometimes you start off in little starter homes, but it's just a, a stepping stool. You're not going to always be there. Amen. I'm preaching to myself right now, um, but have some finances saved up. So when it's time to say I do, you know, you won't be all stressed out um, trying to find a house. You won't have to compromise and shack up. Uh, no shacking, right? No shacking up. Um, no, you can do it the right way. You can do it God's way and say, okay, I've been saving up. I got uh, this amount of money, uh, a few thousand dollars saved up. I can go get us a decent house. You know, I can help out. I can go uh, put some furniture in here. I might not have much, you know, um, you know, but I can bring something to the table. So work on your finances. Start trying to build up your credit. All right. And I'm really I'm talking to men on here. All right. So you can provide for your family, you know, be a good provider for your family. All right. And that really falls on the man because, you know, people are looking at the men always to be uh, a good provider and so these women can have a sense of security because women love security they love to feel secure in a relationship like yeah my man he asked me he, he's he's a good provider all right so these are the things that we can do to guess what prepare for marriage prepare for marriage so let's just do a recap right quick i need you guys to allow god to work on you i need you guys to pray with one another and do spiritual things together i need you guys to be more domestic i need you guys to groom yourself amen groom yourself i can't stress that enough groom yourself amen nobody want to date frankenstein come on now all right study prepare study and learn about marriage and what it's about all right work on your finances and investing you and investing yourself you owe it to yourself all right team I pray you enjoyed this teaching. Deuces.